Psalm 99. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We come on to this wonderful, remarkable time on the season 7 of 150 days of Psalms to proclaim Psalm 99. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. Let the nations tremble. He sits enthroned between the cherubim. Let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king is mighty. Verse 4. He loves justice. You have established equity. In Jacob, you have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them from a pillar of cloud. He kept his statutes and decrees he gave them. O oh Lord, our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God, though you punished their misdeeds. Exalt the Lord, our God, and worship at his mountain, for the Lord, our God, is holy. Beloved, what a joy and great delight to be in the presence of God in the land of the living. <sighs> if you could breathe in, you are in the land of the living. It's a joy and great delight again to mention in this topic, the Lord reigns. The Lord reigns, the nations tremble. In First Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 31, it says, Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. No matter your situation, no matter your condition, no matter your circumstance, the Lord reigns. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Then the trees of the forest will sing. They will sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. First Chronicles chapter number 16 and verse 33. Many are the times when we begin to see, when you're passing through a forest and you see the swaying of the trees and you hear a sound, you know, from the leaves that are there. It's a sound that the, the, the trees are singing. The trees are singing to the glory of God. Beloved of God, again, the scriptures say in Psalm 9 verse 7, The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. What a joy and great delight. Again, in Psalm 47 and verse 8, it will do well if you can write these scriptures down. Or if you are watching, you can actually type them onto the comment section for somebody else to watch and to follow them. Psalm 47 and verse 8, it says, God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. God is seated on his holy throne. What a delight to be able to know these things. To see the majesty of our God. To see his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. In that situation, in that condition, in that circumstance, the Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. He's robed in majesty. Hallelujah. Psalm 97. It says the Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. Psalm 93. 1. It says the Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and is armed with strength. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. Hallelujah. The Lord reigns. Let the earth be glad. Let the distant shores rejoice. Psalm 97 and verse 1. What a great delight, beloved of God, to be able to acknowledge the faithfulness of God and to know He reigns. He reigns. 
that we can sing he reigns forever we can mention he reigns forever that he's a god who reigns hallelujah hallelujah give thanks to the lord for he is good his love <coughs> excuse me <coughs> <clears throat> His love endures <clears throat> forever. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, <clears throat> for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 146 and verse number 10. It tells us the same. It says, The Lord reigns forever. You, God, you are God, O Zion. For all generations, praise the Lord. That you can come up to the place and declare, The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. That you lift up your hands and say, The Lord reigns. That wherever you are, just begin to worship God. And declare, The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord reigns. Let the sea resound. Let the distant shores resound. Beloved, Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 19. It says, You, O Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures from generation to generation. That you can come to the place and say, The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord reigns. He is robed. He is robed in majesty. And then now as we come and say in Psalm Isaiah 52 verse 7. This one actually is something I want us to commit to memory. <clears throat> it says, How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. Who proclaim peace. <clears throat> who bring good things. Who bring good tidings. Who proclaim salvation? Who say to Zion, Your God reigns. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the wonders, the wonders of God, that you can join in declaring your God reigns, O Zion. You can join in declaring that God, you reign. There's a singer who sang a song and said, Lord, you reign. Lord, you reign. Hallelujah. Lord, you reign. But this is my favorite part of Psalm 99 verse 1. Our Lord reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. Jehovah reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. Jehovah reigneth, let the earth tremble. Our God God reigneth, let the earth tremble. A beautiful prayer warfare song. Psalm 99 verse 1 in the King James Version. Our God reigns, let the earth tremble. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation? Who say to Zion, Your God reigns. Hallelujah. I come to mention to you, Zion, Your God reigns. That circumstance is not going to be permanent. The Lord is going, He is coming to your situation. He reigns. Cancer got to fly away. It got to be completely bowed to the Lord. Any kind of incurable disease according to man. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. Hallelujah. He is robed in power. Any kind of situation. The Lord reigns. He reigns forever. He reigns. Hallelujah. That condition is not permanent. He reigns. Hallelujah. The Lord reigns. Isaiah 52 verse 7. 
It says, How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, and who say to Zion, Your God reigns. This particular portion of scripture in Isaiah 52 verse 7, I want to highlight it to you and actually invite us to commit it into our memory. Because it's a powerful, powerful message that the Lord wants us to experience in our individual lives. That irrespective of the circumstance and the situation, that you may not know how to handle that situation, then the beautiful thing for you to know is that when you trust in God, He is definitely coming into your matter, no matter what your matter is. He is faithful. Hallelujah. He is more than faithful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord reigns. He established His throne for judgment. The Lord reigns. What is it? That looks impossible. The Lord reigns. He reigns over the economies of the earth. He reigns in South Africa. He reigns in India. He reigns in America. He reigns in Kenya. He reigns in Haiti. The problem of Haiti is not a political problem. The problem of Haiti is a spiritual problem. The nation of Haiti requires prayers more than peacekeepers. But the United Nations has been in Haiti for the longest time. Longest time. Making that nation a difficult nation. Even when they installed a president over themselves, they went ahead and killed the president. You can see the kind of nation that is, that is there. And the kind of spirits, if you go deep and find out about the nation of Haiti. I come to mention to you, my brother in Haiti, I come to mention my sister in Haiti. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. Hallelujah. <laughs> he is raised. I feel so much joy in my spirit. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord reigns. He is robed, robed, robed. The Lord reigns forever. He has established his throne for judgment. The Lord reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. What a joy and great delight to know that this God that we serve is a God who reigns, is a God who is established. He has established the heavens and the earth. Let the earth, let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad that our heart, O oh Lord, let it continue seeking your face, that we may seek your face, that, Lord, every gift you have given unto us, we will give it back to you gladly. For you reign forever, Lord. You reign. The Lord reigns. The Lord is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty. He is armed with strength. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. These are principles of God. Beloved of the Lord, <clears throat> as we await the soon return of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are to occupy until He returns. And as we occupy until He returns, we ought to know our position. Our position require our position as is going to find opposition. But one thing that opposition will not do, it can never change the position. One thing that opposition cannot do is to change the position. The one that is in authority, God has placed in authority, he face opposition. But the opposition will not change the position that God has given that person to be in power, or that ruler, or that manager, or that boss. That position may be fight, fought with opposition, but it will not change the fact that the Lord reigns. There is nothing impossible in the nations of the earth. When the Lord is looking at Libya, thousands of widows and orphans from the war, from the famine, and now from the flood coming into the nation of Libya. <clears throat> we ask God for mercy over that nation. 
we ask God for mercy over the nation of uh, Morocco, over the nation of which other place down here, or Djibouti, over the nation of the nation of Congo. And we pray for Africa, that Africa will not just give away its raw resources and resources and resources. That, you know, the issue about the reclamation of Africa is not just so that we may just get more oil, more gold, more dollars on our hands. <coughs> the greatest thing that we ought to possess and give freely is the salvation, the proclamation of salvation. The more we proclaim salvation, the more we glorify the Lord. The more we glorify the Lord, the more He lifts us to another level. He takes us to another level. If we raise in our area of faithfulness, then God is able to give us more to steward. <clears throat> if the moment He lifts you up, just a little, you change everything about how you are talking. You change it. You even don't pray for anybody near you now. <clears throat> Consider that a waste of time. You tell them, you come to church next Friday. Come, come to church. The place of salvation is right there, right now, in the name of Jesus. For the word of God tells us, in the book of Romans, chapter 10 and verse 9, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. Then there's other things that probably could be as a result of your choices, could be as a result of circumstances, could be as a result of situations. Those are not the things that we are to seek after. We are to seek after the kingdom of God and all its righteousness and all these things are added unto us. The choices we have made will bring certain consequences our way. But God, by His mercy, will pour wisdom into our spirit that as we make those wisdom choices, now we begin to get out of that bondage. Begin to rise up out of the bondage. God begin to lift you out of the bondage and bring you into a place. Look, the Bible says that He's the one who sets the lonely in families. I shared on my Facebook the story of a young lady called Zari that I met on the way. The Lord rescued her. The Lord rescued this, uh, I would call her an alien because she was not a Kenyan. And God just rescued her and just made a possibility for her to know Christ and, you know, get planted inside a church. This is the doing of God. This is, is not my doing because at some point I felt in my spirit, okay, I need to make arrangements. What do we do about this person, is she's homeless, where is she going to go? Then the Holy Spirit reminded me that the humanitarian ministry, God has created avenues of different gifts in the church. That's why it's important for us to invest time in the church. To invest time, you be part of a fellowship. I know during COVID, we were given some form of freedom to you know, just sit in front of our computers and in front of our co cameras and just be able to have that as church. But as long as it is today, be connected to other believers, even so physically. Physically. Because if you begin to become a vagabond, what is a vagabond? You come here, you say, oh, there's a conference here, you come there. You come out of that conference, you go to this other conference. You come out of that conference, you go to this. There's those we call conference Christians. They will not settle down. The Lord wants you to be able to bring his kingdom, to proclaim salvation, and to say to Zion, your God reigns. Ah, God, you reign. God, you reign. God, you reign. I put my trust in you. I put my confidence. Beloved, you know, when God started calling me to this apostolic ministry of being able to move from one place to another, I went and saw my bishop. And you know, when I was talking to him, I could see the wisdom in his eyes. And I could see, you know, the concern. <clears throat> Because he knew clearly that I had had the Lord. And um, he encouraged me and said, Son, <coughs> this is a very uh, 
um, this is a very uh, challenging kind of an assignment God is putting in your hands. But He will provide for you. He will provide for you. He will, you know, He went along to speak and to declare. And let me tell you, the speaking and declaring was not done somewhat in a spiritual format. No, no, no. He was not even closing his eyes. We were not even praying. He was just speaking. And this is what it says in the book of Isaiah 52, verse 7. Isaiah 52, verse 7. This is the word that I want us to memorize. That how good and beautiful, how beautiful. He says that how beautiful on the mountains. That the moment, you know, the chariot is moving up the mountains and going round into Isiolo and down into Mairisaba, down, down, down into Isiolo and down past the other places going all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way to North Kenya. How beautiful on those mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. As you go into your village, as you go into your workplace, wherever place you go, those are mountains. And how beautiful on the mountains. How beautiful. <laughs> These bees woke up very early. What are they doing here? Anyway, they are God's creation. It says, how good and beautiful it is. On the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news. Who proclaim peace. Who bring good tidings who proclaim salvation ha ah, and who say to zion your god reigns ay, 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 ay. i don't know if you're getting what i'm talking about that now isaiah 52 verse 7 said in your own words should be like this how beautiful on the mountains are my feet as I bring good news, I proclaim peace, I bring good tidings, I proclaim salvation, I say to Zion, your God reigns, hallelujah. Come on, say it again. Say how beautiful on the mountains are my feet. Hey, as I bring good news, I proclaim peace, I bring good tidings, I proclaim salvation, I say to Zion, your God reigns. A third time, I want you to say it. Now with a conviction in your spirit. With a conviction in your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's this voice. You know, <clears throat> yesterday I was somewhere. I got a phone call. Someone called me and said, uh, My name is so and so. Of late there's so much trouble in my life. I don't know what's going on. This is happening. This is happening. This is happening. I asked the person. Would you like to give your life to Christ? I did not even start with the problems. Ask the person, would you like to give your life to Jesus? And she said, yes, on the, on the phone. She said to me initially that there is one of my friends that you prayed for, that gave her life to Christ. You helped her. And I can see her life. She has been helped by God. By the way, these are not people that I even have met so many times. But this, when she said that her friend has been helped by, you know, the prayers that we prayed, I understood which friend it was before she told me. So I told her, let's give you, this is how it is. Romans chapter 10 verse 9. If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. That's the registration form. <laughs> That's the registration form of Zion. The registration form of Zion is Romans chapter 10 verse 9. It's Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. You have been saved by grace through faith. It's not by yourself that anyone should boast. That is the registration form. That is how you get into eternal life. The Bible says again in John 5 24 that this is the testament that whoever believes in Christ and, and believes in the one who sent him that crosses over from death to life instant. Hey, glory. So after we prayed with, uh, with, with Gladys, actually I posted as we had prayed, she mentioned to me, Pastor, my friend is with me. She has not gone to work. Her things were locked in her, in her house because she has not paid her house rent. Then I said, can I talk to your friend? 
then he said the friend now this is all this is on the telephone a friend um, came on the phone and I said the Lord Jesus loves you so much I said the Lord Jesus loves us so much this is how to bring the registration form start by telling the person that Jesus loves them and then enter into it yourself Jesus loves us it is not just you it is us say to Zion your God your God reigns so after after I told her that I said to her this is what the Lord desires of you that you give your life to Christ are you willing the person had just had her friend praying so she said yes I also want to pray we prayed again together and another soul was added to the Lord a registration of Zion happened right there so after that prayer was the house still locked oh yes was this other one having the challenges oh yes so what to do next now that you are born again what to do next he says this how good how beautiful on the mountains those mountains may be mountains but when you are there you make them beautiful the bible says how beautiful are the mount on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news that mountain you are in right now your feet will go out and you will bring good news the lord is giving you capacity to proclaim peace to bring good tidings to proclaim salvation to say to zion your god reigns this morning hallelujah ha. the lord reigns the lord reigns hallelujah psalm 62 verse 8 it says trust him at all times irrespective of what the circumstances i don't know what to do hallelujah like sometimes like now i have a major service on the chariot and when i took it to the to the service station when they opened the front tires, they said, this is one out and this is one out and this is one out. In fact, I have some of those things here. He said, this is one out and this is one. Ah, why not? Let me show you. He said, these things, these are the ones that drive when you see the chariot going. These are the ones, these tuchumas. They are drive shafts. Then, so this man said that this one, the way it was playing like this, it would have actually led to what? To one day just coming off. Together with it, bearings. Together with it, CV joint. Together with it, all these things are things that whenever you see a chariot on the move, they are wearing out. There is no other way. They just wear out. It's not that you may have a or anything, but the wearing out happens. So you just give them 20,000 kilometers. And the next thing, you need to replace them. Otherwise, you'll be driving a death trap in the inside. So when I see this kind of a, you know, huge bill, pa comes on the top of the other bills. I just smile at God and I say, Lord, I trust you at all times. Even when I don't know what to do. And there is no single day he has stopped us from getting on the move. Because we understand it's not about, it's not about, um, it's not about prestige. It is about obedience. I can't wait for the day he'll say I do a crusade or I do what evangelists do because I've never done evangelism. All these things you see me do is file in a letter kwa meza. Mungu analeta file yako. Analeta file tunakutana na wewe direct like that. Face to face. You are selling me this or you are telling me this or you are doing this. At that very time my job is simple. Proclaim peace bring good tidings proclaim salvation say to zion your god reigns i pray for that same grace over your life in the name of jesus the same grace that god has enabled us to understand the god of isaiah 52 verse 7 that how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news who proclaim peace who bring good tidings who proclaim salvation and who say to zion your god reigns hallelujah Beloved of God, as I ask you to support this ministry, it is a good ground. 
as I asked you to pray for this ministry, it is a good ground. Now, as we are consistently moving, we are, you know, the wheels are now moving faster and faster to close season seven. I can't wait to see what's going to happen at the end of 150 days, 150 days of Psalm season seven. As you can see, we are in October and by the masses of God, if we go in the same pace we are going, we should end this at around November, end of November. By 27th November there we should be done. And then we just have times of thanksgiving and praising God and doing a lot of wonderful things that he will provide on our um, on, on, on instruction, what we need to do. So for now, I bring this knowledge to you, beloved of God. You that is there, that looks and sees these videos and you wonder what are these videos about what what is it what is the what is the drive what makes this what makes malcolm drive, do what he does it's simple it's simple very simple obedience and when you obey you love god that's the beauty when god is speaking to you to to do to give sacrificially about something and then you start questioning yourself, how? How will I do it? How can I do it? The best thing is to obey first. Obey. Obey. Listen to what the Lord is saying to you. Obey. Do it cheerfully. Do it obediently. And when you do it obediently, the Lord will do great and marvelous things. The Lord will change and align. God will align. God will realign you. God will realign you. Because notice, after you interfere with the front suspension of a chariot by chariot i mean what you call a car mine is not a car it's a chariot the lord has been a good god helping me to understand that relationship of a chariot and a servant and then the lord says go then there are times he gives me horses and these are my wonderful friends who have motorbikes i don't call them nduthi i don't call them boda boda i call them the horses Izo ni farasi za bwana kwa sababu hao watu Mungu anawatumia sana. Kama unasikia unaendesha pikipiki, if you drive a motorcycle and you are doing it for trade, God remember you, God favor you, keep you away from harassment, keep you away from accident, keep you away from witchcraft, keep you away from traps and even from being hired by goons who will might go and in the process you might lose your motorcycle to fire. These are things that I want to mention. Even that God has been so merciful to take us in different places, different places, different places in this city, in this nation of Kenya. Not for photography. I have gone to places with my camera right there and I did not take photos. Hallelujah. Good to see you, Sir Kelly Sam. So it's important for you to understand that now the call of God has been refined. God has refined the call for, the, for you to understand that you have a job to proclaim salvation. You have a job to say to Zion, your God reigns. You need to speak it. Mention it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I see that wonderful pro promotion on you, Kelly son, today. On the 4th of October 2023, receive. Akuna pingamizi tena. Bwana amekupatia tu kwa jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We, we shall see that testimony. God is going to bring it to pass. So as I conclude, I want to give you an opportunity to give even towards this work. These last 50 days are going to be extremely powerful in what God is doing. I believe and I trust God that he will help us to be able to meet around this time, early in the morning when it is still dark. Just like what Jesus did in the book of Mark chapter 1 verse 35. The Bible says that early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus left his house, went to a solitary place where he prayed. Ha! <laughs> what a joy. So I need to go now and do exactly that what I've said. Um, the giving details are right down here. The chariot, like I mentioned, have some, some bills here and there that need to be cleared. The insurance is coming up on it. Those are opportunities for you to tap into your own grace and to receive blessings. So the number is there. If the Lord speaks to you, you want to be a blessing in that way, go ahead. I just invite you because it's not proper for me not to allow you to be blessed. 
Because when you partner with what God is doing, you receive blessings beyond blessings, beyond blessings. So we bless the name of the Lord for this opportunity. And I invite you into this wonderful morning watch every day. We are going to be here throughout this uh, month of October. By the grace of God, we are going to be here. We're going to stop every other program to make sure at 5 we are up and ready to bring you this broadcast. I am Malcolm David. Let me pray and conclude. Precious Father, I want to thank you for anyone and everyone that has tuned in here today. I want to thank you for the prophetic word that you brought the Lord reigns. And we thank you, Lord God, for Isaiah 52 verse 7. That, Lord, how beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, and who say to Zion, your God reigns. So, Lord, we make a declaration and mention, O oh God, my feet are beaut that my feet are beautiful as I bring good news. I proclaim peace. I bring good tidings. I proclaim salvation. And I say to Zion, your Lord reigns in the name of Jesus. Father, I hand out this registration form to anyone that is not born again, that they may register for Zion. The word of the Lord says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Hallelujah. So if you are there, you'd like to join Zion to be part of what God reigns over. Give your life to Jesus today. Commit yourself to the Lord. If you are there, you have been a 50-50 Christian. I want you to get out of the 50. Surrender the 100% to the Lord. Give yourself to Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. We come to pray. Lord, we thank you for the souls of men that have been convicted even into giving their life to Jesus. My Lord, we pray over this journey of 150 days of Psalms. We thank you, Lord God, for the great move that you are moving among us in a powerful way. The Lord, we cannot contain. We thank you for testimony after testimony after testimony. We glorify and honor your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. So the WhatsApp number, the giving number, Plus two five four seven two two. Very easy number. Zero eight seven zero eight seven. You can get me one on one on that number. You can give towards that number, or you can use a till number eight six zero eleven fifty two. That one also is a way of giving. Or if you are abroad, you want to use your PayPal. If you are using your card, the number is Malcolm in Christ at Gmail dot com. And that will be a beautiful thing. Shalom. Have a beautiful day in the presence of God. And say to Zion, the Lord reigns. I am Malcolm David. Shalom.